hi everyone myself ramzi patel and today in this video i am going to show you how we can play these old audio cassettes so for this we need a cassette mechanism with playback head here is the playback head and here is the erase head for playback of audio cassette we need two circuits one for controlling the speed of the motor of the cassette mechanism and one for amplifying the output of the playback head so i am using this playback amplifier circuit it basically consists of two transistor this is the first transistor and this is the second transistor these two transistor forms a direct coupled amplifier with feedback with response according to nab equalization and here is the potentiometer to control the volume and output of this playback play amplifier is connected to this power amplifier circuit this power amplifier circuit consists of three transistors this is the driver transistor and this is s9014 npn transistor and the upper transistor is s9013 which is also an npn transistor and the lower transistor is s9012 pnp transistor so these two transistor forms a push pull stage and this power amplifier operates in class ab region and these two diodes you can see here these two diodes is used to bias the base of this two transistors to remove the problem of crossover distortion and here is the motor speed controller i am using a 555 timer ic to generate the pwm signal and i am also using a irf z44 n channel mosfet and i am powering the motor controller circuit with this 12 volt 2 amp switch mode power supply and i am powering the power amplifier and pre amplifier circuit with my lab bench power supply and output voltage of 7.2 volt so it is enough to drive the pre amplifier and power amplifier circuit and output of the power amplifier circuit is connected to this 4 ohm 5 baht loud speaker with the help of these alligator wires and output of the lab bench power supply is connected to the power input of the power amplifier and pre amplifier and the output of the playback head is connected to the input of the pre amplifier and here is an another potentiometer on the motor speed controller board to adjust the right speed of the motor of the cassette mechanism so before starting everything uh, i would like to explain the circuit diagram of the playback amplifier power amplifier and the motor speed control circuit this is the circuit to control the speed of the motor it basically consists of an any 355 timer ic and z44 n channel mosfet this circuit generates the pwm signal and the generated pwm signal is applied to the gate of n channel mosfet in series with a 100 ohm resistor that is used to limit the gate current of the mosfet and this potentiometer is used to adjust the duty cycle of the pwm signal and the frequency of the pwm signal is determined by these two capacitors and these two resistors the whole circuit operates on 12 volt and here is another capacitor c3 this is 0.01 microfarad capacitor that is used to stabilize the voltage on control voltage pin of the ic and this diode is connected parallel to the motor is basically a flywheel diode that is used to protect the mosfet from high voltage spikes and the whole circuit operates on 12 volt this is the amplifier section it looks very confusing to understand the working of the amplifier i am dividing the circuits into two section one is the playback play amplifier and another is power amplifier section 
So basically, playback preamplifier section consists of two transistors, Q1 and Q2. S9014C it is an NPN transistor that is used in making audio amplifier. And basically, R3 register forms a voltage to current feedback. And it is connected between the base of the first transistor and emitter of the second transistor. There is an another feedback network, this one. It uses R6, R7 and C5 register. This is basically an equalization network. And here is the coupling capacitor that is used to remove the DC offset. And the output of the amplifier is connected to the input of the power amplifier. This 10k ohm potentiometer is used to adjust the volume and this is the driver transistor for power amplifier and basically Q4 and Q5 forms a push-pull stage and diodes D1 and D2 is used to remove the crossover distortion and this power amplifier operates in class AB mode. The output of the power amplifier is connected to a loudspeaker and this whole amplifier circuit works on 6 to 9 volt. Here is some another parts like this capacitor is used to remove the noise from power supply to reach to the preamplifier section and also a 2.2k ohm register is also used to eliminate the noise of the power supply. The input is the input of the amplifier output of the playback head is connected to this terminal and ground so i hope you will be understood the working of this amplifier now let's play this cassette so fix it in the cassette mechanism in this way and now press the play button here is the play button and the cassette is not rotating so this is because the but stop button is pressed so just press it again and we can see that cassette starts rotating now increase the volume We can adjust the speed of the motor with this potentiometer. So let's set the correct speed of the motor. 